Hey everybody, um, Chaos11011, or Today Alive here. Um, I'm here to talk about some things that, uh, we could probably do to advance the Duck Hunt meta. Just some simple things that, uh, we all, um, should know by now. Oops. But basically, I was messing around in some, uh, training mode. Oops. Okay. Let me knock that over there. Okay, this is a replay, so, um... Here's one thing I noticed. See that? That can cover a lot of uh, distance when it comes to edge guarding. Basically, the thing behind that is you use the gunman, you B reverse the can, and then um, as you're going back to the ledge, the can will cover that amount of distance, and then you can just like walk back and fare there. And the cool thing about that is when you're um, using your up B, to get back to the ledge. If someone's on the ledge there, they're going to um, do the, that's going to be a ledge trump. So because of that, the can that's coming back up will probably hit them. If not, still look how, how much like distance that covers. You know, that covers like a lot of distance. Like that covers so many options. And I'm, I'm still trying to perfect it. So basically what you do is like, you do a run, it, run off a gunman then you B-reverse the can while you jump. So as you do, you B-reverse the can as you d jump, and then you can use your up B while you're pinging the can. And um, since the can bounces off of walls, it will follow you like that, and it'll cover that option. Um, it's tricky though, because if you do it wrong, you, you input, uh, if you input it wrong, you're gonna get a clay pigeon, and you can survive from it. It's just that I'm choosing not to because it's quicker. Um, I've learned that, like, as long as you, when you're trying to do that, as long as, um, you're in, you're just above the magnifying glass, when you're trying to recover, you will make it back. So you don't need to, like, worry about, um, making it back. So see, you can go for the B-reverse can, and then I'll cover that option. And here I'm trying to, like, do it, like, twice in a row, because I've realized by the time the can is gone, um, the gunman will be gone too, so you could just, like, Theoretically, just do it again and again, if you want to. I mean, that's a good way to practice. In an actual battle, I don't think it will have much uh, much applications. But the thing is, like, I don't think this is going to be a revolutionary tech, but it's always something to keep in mind because of how many options it can cover. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to do it a bit more, just for like 30 more seconds, and then I'm going to do um, another thing. Because I did, a, I covered a bunch of cool um, techs that duck hunts should know. It's not anything like too complex, but you know, some things that I feel like um, we should be implementing in our game, you know, furthering our meta. So right here I'm like trying to show you guys some uh, wall jump things, and I, I think I failed like the first two, so that's the first one, and then I'm gonna fail the first two. Yeah. Okay, after that I think I'm going to make it back the next time. Basically the thing behind this is you wall jump to stall, you go for the gunman, and then you can go for an up air, and that will cover a pretty good amount of, uh, coverage, too. Like, the thing is, like, the thing I, um, I see a lot of duck hunts doing, um, maybe not so much nowadays, but I was looking at some past, like, videos and stuff, and I see, like, duck hunts, like, going for the gunman and then trying to go for some cans, but I feel like that's a bit too predictable. We can try to go off stage with your, you know, our up airs, our nares, our fares, you know. And now here's another technique, um, running off and doing a gunman like that, just at, um, so that the gunman spawns forward as you're like under, you know, see there's the wall jump. I think I do like a, a bunch, so it's hard to like keep track of what I'm actually trying to show you. See like that, like the, you spawn the gunman and then as, and then as you uh, fall down, and that gives you cover while the gunman just like shoots for you. Now here's another thing that people should implement into their game if that you don't already. Fox trotting with the can. So see, you can uh, move with the can, and if you want, you can like implement some aerials into there. Because you know, you, it's just the same thing as fox trotting, then you jump and use an aerial. That. And I feel like it's a good option to do because it allows you to move with the can. Um, it gives you a lot of like, see, it covers your head sort of like a platform. It's, it gives you that like constant protection from like, say for example, Sheik Fair. Um, so I feel like that's something that people should implement into their game as well if you if you're not already. 
probably one of the most valuable duck hunt um, things that you should know. Other than the fact that, like, um, your can trajectories. Everyone should know their can trajectories. Um, here's another thing I like to do. Uh, wall jump, clay pigeons. Now that um, you can up the, and you when you still have the clay pigeon, I think you couldn't before, but I think they patched that or something. Because I remember you couldn't do that before. And then I tried it now, and I was like, whoa, this is cool. Um, here's me trying to do that first thing again. But, yeah. Um, the reason why I run uh, Temple, you can do this on Final Destination, and that's probably the place you're going to use it on, like the original Final Destination. Final Destination. But the reason I'm on uh, Temple is because of the lighting and Final Destination doesn't really cooperate with my recording too well. So yeah, um, not all of these you're going to use like in a matchup or anything. I mean, I don't expect these to be super useful all the time, except for the fox trotting. The fox trotting will be. But, um, you know, these are just some things you could use to like, mix up your game, because the more unpredictable Duck Hunt is, the better. I feel like Duck Hunt, um... He's going to excel at, you know, frame trapping, covering a bunch of options, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, Sheik, Sheik won, because, you know, top tier and stuff. But, uh, yeah, those are just some things that, um, I was trying out, I wanted to show you guys. So, uh, yeah, use them if you'd like, or not. Um, I'll probably have in the comments, or yeah, in the thread description, you know, how to actually execute these things. So, um, yeah, see you next time.